In this video, we are going to learn how to add a stage library in a JDBC driver step by step. Let's say you have access StringSets Data Ops platform and you have set up a data collector engine with just the default stage libraries, but now you want to access additional origins, destinations, or processors. This video walks you through exactly what you need to do so that you can access those additional capabilities. For this example, we are going to add the JDBC stage library and the JDBC driver necessary to access a relational database, in this case, Oracle. Now it is time to get started with step 1. Creating a pipeline. For this pipeline, we want to read data from Oracle, which is accomplished by using the JDBC multi-table consumer. Start by creating a new pipeline. From the Build Pipelines option on the left, click Create a Pipeline. Let's call it read underscore oracle. All other default settings are fine, so we will just click next. Here we need to select the authoring engine and in this case, the default engine is used. If you had multiple engines, you could select which one you want to build it on. In our case, we will keep the default one and click save and open in Canvas. This will bring us up to our graphic user interface to build the pipeline. Having created the pipeline, it's time for step two adding the JDBC multi-table consumer stage library. From the Select Origin dropdown, we need to scroll down to the JDBC multi-table consumer. Notice that it appears in the list, but is marked as not installed. So, we need to install it. You can do that by simply clicking the necessary stage library. It will now prompt you to add the missing stage library. You should now see that the default settings are already the correct ones. It is the JDBC multi-table consumer using the JDBC stage library. So we can simply select Update Deployments. And in this case, since there is a new stage library, we will need to restart our data collector engine. Now that the data collector is restarted, let's continue to build our pipeline. Once we have added the missing stage library and restarted the data collector engine, it's time for step 3 configuring the origin and adding the JDBC driver. Since the JDBC multi-table origin library has been installed, we can add the JDBC multi-table consumer to our pipeline. Scroll down from the select origin dropdown. Notice that the JDBC multi-table consumer is now marked as installed, so you can select it as your origin. In this case, our connectivity to Oracle needs to be tested. We are going to write this data out to trash. Scroll down from the Select New Destination to connect and select Trash as your destination. Now we have a complete pipeline, but some values should be configured. Click the JDBC Multi-Table Consumer and go down to JDBC Configuration tab, where you will need to enter your information from the JDBC Connect string. All in all, the Connect string is going to look similar to this. You can connect it to Oracle through the JDBC driver. Leave the rest as default. Next, move to the Tables tab and find the schema you want to use. In this case, we are going to copy our schema and type in our schema name. As for the table main pattern, leave it as percent, that will allow you to access all the tables that are under this particular schema. Next, you need to add in your credentials to connect to Oracle. Enter your username and your password here. This information has been entered, you will see that all warnings are gone. The pipeline has no errors in it. Now it's time to try to validate this pipeline. Click the validate button, now you should see a message saying that there is a validation error. After highlighting this error, we can see that the message says that it failed to get the driver instance. It means that your Oracle JDBC driver is not installed on the data collector. So let's do that. If we select the JDBC multi-table consumer and come down here to the left to view the external libraries, we can see that no external libraries have been added for the JDBC origin. That is why we need to add them now. You will see that we have already downloaded the JDBC driver from the internet for Oracle. Click to upload the external library. Since we need to add the JDBC driver, we are going to simply browse to our Oracle JDBC driver. 
that is the OJDBC8 .jar file in this case. Select open it and finally upload the file. Now we can see that the OJDBC8 driver has been installed successfully. And once again, the data collector engine should be restarted. Click restart the data collector button. Now that the data collector is restarted, the JDBC driver has been installed, we are ready to validate the pipeline once again. You should now see that the validation has been successful, so we know that the driver and the stage libraries have been installed. You can actually verify the connectivity to Oracle by clicking this preview button. Clicking the preview icon and selecting run preview, you will be able to connect up to Oracle and actually preview the data. Over here, on the right-hand side, you can see that the Oracle data has been retrieved from the Oracle database. There you have it, in just a few steps, you can add a new stage library and a JDBC driver to your data collector engine. Thanks for watching, now it's your turn to try.